So today I am going to show you how to make this bracelet. It I call it the triple single square because it's just a triple and it's a square. So let's get started. So I'm going to be using a sparkly blue. You can use whatever colors you want to, but we are going to take one rubber band and go from there. And then we're just going to continue going up with one uh, rubber band. Very, very, very simple. Okay. So then once we get to this peg, we are going to take it and go from this peg to the middle peg. Then we are going to do that same process with the other side. I would suggest using the same color. And again, when you get to the top, you just take it and go to the middle peg. So now you choose a different color. I am going to be using orange. And you just go up the middle using one band at a time. Sorry, I got two bands stuck together. And again, you can use whatever color you like. You can do the same as me, or not. I'm just choosing random colors so it might not look too good together. But, you know, well, and you just continue and you finish on that middle peg with all three of the bands on there. Okay, now you choose a different color and I am going to be using teal. And first just push down all the pins, all the rubber bands on the sides. I know you can't see the top, but oh, okay. So you just push them all down and then grab your third, fourth, third color and you just twist it so it's doubled and you place it right like that horizontally and you just continue doing that process up the loom each one and you want to make sure that you have good rubber bands for the doubling so that way they can hold the double because some rubber bands just break after a while the non rainbow loom variety they just can't hold the tension without breaking and it's very irritating when you've done all that so I'm gonna Stop talking and just continue up the loom doing that same pattern. So you do want to do it on all the pegs, including the last top two. So there we go. We have them all across our loom. Now it's time to start hooking. Okay, first we need to place a cap band right here. So grab the color that you used on the outside and just loop it four times. Okay, now it's time to start hooking. Okay, so I have my pink metal hook. And you're just going to go under and grab the middle band, the top band. Maybe. Hold on. Okay. And loop it forward. Nothing too hard. Just going kind of like a very very simple just make sure um, you don't accidentally grab the bands that are 
doubled because you could like break them and that'd be bad. Don't probably won't happen, but best one. Okay, now we'll go back here and we're gonna go back in and grab the top band and loop it over here. Right? It might be a bit hard to see since it's kind of not a very deep blue. And then we're just gonna continue like the same. And you're just gonna go up the loom just like that. Just normal. Single. All the way up the loom. I'm sorry if it's a bit hard to see since it's a very subtle blue. Maybe you can see the sparkles. Yeah, I hope so. So it's easier to tell. And when you get to this last one on that peg, you just bring it to the middle. Push it down. Okay. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So we reach in and grab the remaining last band and bring it over here. And then continue as with the other side. Really some tension there. Just accidentally took it off the loom, but that's okay. And just continue up like the other two, the middle and the other side. Just a single loom bracelet. This is a very simple bracelet, and I hope that you guys like it as much as I do. I find that since it's a square, it's not as chunky as other bracelets can be. So yeah, so again, when we get to this last peg, just reach in, grab the band, and loop it to the middle. Okay. Okay, so now, grab the same color as the outside bands, and reach in under all those bands, and then, don't tie a slip knot though, just place it on your hook, and then... Pull off your bracelet, and if you have a crochet hook, you can use the back of a crochet hook to do it, but since this is just a bracelet, I'm just pulling it off the hook loom with my hands, because bracelets aren't quite as easy to break as creations of other types. Okay. And pull off that last. Okay. So that's what it looks like. You can choose either side. Okay. So now If you want to, you can add an extension onto the bracelet if it's not long enough. So I'll show you how to do it. So again, just grab the same color as you used for the outside of the band and then just place one rubber band and just keep on going up until you reach the top. Just do not do don't do a lot of bands because then your bracelet will be too long. So then you take your bracelet and you place those bands on the last hook and have it facing this way so that way the bracelet isn't wonky. Okay, and then you just hook it just like the bracelet. Just. Very simple, and this is just an extension to the bracelet if you need it to be longer. Because I would assume it's not. 
So then you just take it out. And then you just get a C hook or an S hook, whatever you have. Okay, so that is what the finished product looks like. Well, it will probably have different colors. And please remember to um, subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I hope you enjoyed. And if you don't have an C clip, I will, or an S clip, I will be posting a video, a very short one, on how to just attach the bracelet together without a clip. So I have many more things that I'm going to add to my channel. So remember to subscribe so you can learn how to do some cool things on the loom. So yeah, thanks for watching.